you were you were talking about a nasty situation that you were in? so when they this is what i'm talking about they were so naughty brad and robert so they we all had this deal in the first season i think because it was like a straight to series situation you know often you shoot a pilot and then sometimes people get fired after the pilot and mm-hmm. they and blah 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 and so i think we all had in our contracts like a six episode option where they could keep us for the first six episodes and then after that they could um if things weren't working out space you yeah 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 yeah. um so episode six i think is is time do you remember that episode i love it they gave that so they sent that script to all of us right and we all die yep pretty much everybody dies (laughs) We're all thinking like, oh my God, they're terminating us. And like, they were, they did it purposefully so that we would all be like freaking out. And then like, haha, joke's on you. We're bringing everybody back. And then if you were dead, you're all staying on. Like, <laughs> so sneaky. <laughs> but it got, it leads to great stories. You know, it I mean, does. it's when that squid comes out the other side of you and then Chloe version 2.0 goes to the corner and throws up. It's like, yeah, yeah. I can't say I blame her. That was visceral. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was one of my favorite episodes. That was a really fun one to shoot. And it's great sci-fi. It's just great science fiction as well. It's interesting. The 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 first time that you had the material, you connected with her in a way that, you know, after a few moments was not hard for you. What made you fall in love with Chloe? I mean, her flawedness for sure. Like yeah. and her fish out of water like fit in anywhere like didn't know what her place was in this in this thing and and you know and the feeling of immediate loss that she felt like it's not at all the same thing but where I was at at that point in my life was as I said like I was experiencing like probably the worst heartbreak that I had felt at that point in my life and it felt like a loss Mm. so I she I was able to channel all of that in the in the character, especially in air in that, in the, those first couple episodes when she loses her father. Absolutely. Terrific, terrific guest performance there as well. Um, I, uh, I really felt over the course of, especially near the end of that second season there, that if the show were to have continued, I really think that Chloe would have had one of the, one of the more broad transformations because we yeah. don't know what happened to her when she was sent over there. And when they bring her back, I don't think they were done with her. I don't think it, they leave her. I think I, they were just getting started. Yeah, I think so too. I think that I think that if by the end of that show, I really think that she would have been a shadow of whatever she was at the very beginning. You know, right. did you get that feeling as well? Or did they say that that was what they were, it, their intention was? He never told me. They didn't okay. really tell us a lot, like we were kind of every uh, every episode was a surprise yeah they didn't really tell me much about any of that i think they did at the beginning of the second season say you are going to kind of align yourself more with rush and start to you know be an asset to him um because this this intelligence that they've imbued you with is going to start um to to show up and right that's going to be you know advantageous for rush so he's gonna you two are going to start working together so you're gonna have more stuff with with him which i was so thrilled about because i just think he's an amazing actor Yes, he is. Um, yeah, so good. And just like the loveliest human. He plays like horrible people, but he's the loveliest <laughs> guy. Um, so yeah, I feel like I feel like it would have been at, and really interesting to actually see Chloe switch to some other side and become kind of an enemy, if you will. Like to tur- slowly but surely turn on, on everyone on the Destiny. And I think that would have been fascinating for her relationship with Scott mm-hmm. and Eli. Yeah. I but having not be in complete and utter control of her own abilities mm-hmm. as well, you know. I mean the the math angle was really interesting. It wasn't something that I expected. It's like, wow, you know, I mean if you're going to if you're going to transform a character and and send someone on, on like an undercover or uh a um double agent kind of journey if you will, Chloe would be the one to do it with. Yeah. And, you know, I was she was one of the ones that I was really. I looking know forward to by season all. two, you had all uh, rearranged your living situation so that you shared the, I think, the same street, if I'm not mistaken. Um, a lot of us were on Melville. Yeah. Yeah. In Cole Harbor. I lived there prior to okay. getting started. So I was, I was already there. They all came to me, to my street. Hey, there you go. 
<laughs> who, who among uh, the cast were you closest to? Did you find yourself drawn to the most? I mean, we were all pretty close in yeah. general. Like we, we were very much a family. Um, we would hang out on the weekends and I remember season one, like myself, Jamil, Jeffrey Boyer Chapman. Yes. Uh, David, uh, uh, Julia Benson. Um, who else? And like some, some, you know, partners and friends and stuff like mm. that. Oh, Bradley Stryker, um, Brian, we all went and rented a cabin in, um, in Whistler and went and just had this like debaucherous <laughs> in in a cabin in Whistler. It was so fun. I think like I've got videos of us all singing Rent, like <laughs> thousand six hundred minutes. And it's just like this the video that just pans around the table and everyone is just so happy. We just had such a good time together. It was a really special group of people. Absolutely. Um, one of my favorites is Cloverdale, the dream world yeah. where mm-hmm. she marries Scott. Um, yeah. the like turns and she's happy. Exactly. She's either becoming a weapon or like some kind of a surveillance tool or something. That episode, uh, was so, it was an, another just great sci-fi idea where you can take a dream world and, and make it, uh, a part of the main story while, they're they're lying on the ramp of the gate dying Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. you know she's trying to save his life Mm -hmm. and it's just that the performances across the board with all the cast were stellar Mm. you know that the the quality of product that you guys put out over just those 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 two seasons was fantastic i agree yeah it's a good it's a well-made show which um episodes besides time stand out to you I mean, still for me, like the one that is the most present in my memory is air part one and part two, Mm. because we took our time filming it. So Mm. I can remember ever shooting every scene. Um, I can remember just the days of all of us in the gate room, just dying, laughing, Louis, just like cracking jokes. and, And it was just all so new. So I think like, when things are new, you're paying closer attention to everything. You're taking more in. Yeah. You're taking more in. And, and, and it was just really like, that was kind of the thing that sort of set the tone for the next two years. And it was such a fantastic experience shooting those first two episodes. Thank you for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up with that like button. It will encourage the algorithm to show this to other Stargate fans. Also, please consider sending this to a fellow Stargate friend. I also want to invite you to subscribe to future episodes right here on YouTube. We are a live show, so changes are likely to happen all the time. And if you plan on joining us live, you'll want to be the first to know. Be sure to visit dialthegate.com for the complete guest schedule so you'll know when to join us and ask your very own questions to our guests. See you on the the other side.